starting to set posts with the auger. We got a torque, auger torque, earth auger. I'm gonna have that do some video typing of it. It's not a bobcat auger, but the bit's an off bobcat. We have got all the holes dug right now. We've got this auger on rental, so it's going to get ready to go back. We're going to get ready to take it up north. So we'll be back after a while to start setting them and putting gravel around them. But like I said, this is a different auger. I've never, I've seen them at this dealership, but I've never used one. It's an earth drill. Seems like it did a good job. I love the, the bobcat bits. They seem like they're a lot heavier built than a lot of other ones. And it seemed like it did pretty good in rock. Because we did hit rock in every hole. Um, but, yeah, that seemed like it did a good job for digging these holes. It's pretty quick. It took probably, what, 30 minutes to dig all in? And I think what we're going to do when we buy one, we're going to get a 12-inch bit and an 18-inch. I think we're going to get a 12 inch bit and an 18 inch bit. That seems like that'll take care of everything. The 12 inches is for the smaller poles. It seems like that works out good. And after normally after you clean them out, you got them water, got the hole a little bit more watered out than what it originally was. But so this is the project on the list. We're getting ready to take that back, get some wire, and then come back and start setting poles and then set some T poles. And hopefully start maybe putting some wire up tonight we're hoping anyway if not tomorrow and gates it was raining a little bit tomorrow but we can probably get the wire and stuff and gates put up so yeah catch y'all a little bit later thank you all for watching
So, this is a project that I haven't showed much of. Yep, we built a new goat pen. But they're gonna get playmates eventually. Maybe Eleanor the damn cow. I don't know, this might be a pen too, one of these days that we put some feeder cows in. Well, not, if we got some calves, we got a bottle feed or something, this would be perfect because it's close to the house and uh, get water a lot easier. But for now, this is the goat pen. Um, so I've got some clips before this where we started about when Rona hit and uh, well, we went to online schooling and my job didn't start. So me and dad was hitting the barn pretty hard and we started on this and then I ended up going to work and uh, we kind of didn't get around to it for a little while. And uh, finally, we started hitting it again here recently. And uh, last weekend, we got all the steel drove and all the corner bracing done. And today, we did all the fencing. Um, got all the fence stretched and put up. And we started tearing down the other one. We got about half of it tore down. We'll finish it up tomorrow. Um, got some manure for the garden out of that. We got rid of all that crap and put the the hay feeder there and house down there so they got quite a bit of room there but it's a lot better than that pen um so we'll uh we'll, we'll take you on the grand tour how about that i don't know if i've covered a lot of this i know you guys seen me bury those gigantic tires about two years ago i think it was <laughs> so this project's been in the making for a little while anyway hi feller hi feller so we got some reels and stuff. Um, their house, we got a little work to it. Um, what are you doing? You like the new tires? So them tires been buried there for a little while. Put a rock in there, another reel. We, we built that, we built one. We got a reel that had a cardboard tube in the middle of it, so we just took a piece of collar pipe and a piece of plywood and made a reel out of it. But yeah, it's kind of a neat little project. It's kind of our learning fence building so that way we kind of know what we're doing so we start on the the next big fencing project which is the backfield we kind of know what we're doing now um we ran an auger to drill these bad mamma jammers in what i don't like me being in here i don't think um i don't know look they're acting weird of course they're in a new pen they just got moved into it today um but uh, like I said, these are old telephone poles we cleaned up and cut. And the, it's the best thing ever. You can get around some telephone poles, you know, especially if you're starting starting out. These are the best things since sliced bread and telling you right now because they're, they're cheap. That's the main thing is they're cheap. Um, let's put the water up here in this corner so I don't have to carry water so far from the barn to here. Uh, we hung the feeder actually on the big gate. And this big gate is for when we have to bring the skid steer in to pick up that, clean out underneath it. Um, and just to have, so we can open it up and actually back the gator in. Cause that gate there is a little small. That's kind of like the little main gate to go in and out of. But we got these new, new latches that are, you know, you don't have to have the chain and all that bull dink. You just, it latches itself. I mean, they have to hit that thing pretty hard to get out, so uh, we're kind of we're pretty impressed with them things. Got my tractor, real king. Um, we had the gates hung like when we did the pen. We first started doing it, and then we lost interest. We didn't really lose interest. We just kind of lost time to get, to get back to it. So here she be. Tomorrow we'll finish knocking out and down that over there, and we'll smooth that out with skid steer. You'll never know that pen was there. The reason for this pen is it's 10 times better as far as the fencing wise. I don't know how the hell they, they didn't get out of that pen. It, it was held together by hopes and dreams. This will be a hell of a lot easier mowing and we'll be able to spray underneath the fence and weed underneath the fence a lot better. And uh, it's just in the right direction too to be able to mow around, keep it maintained better because a lot of times we just had a weed eat in there and I, I hate weed eating. So this makes it a lot easier. We can just, I think I can get the my mower through this gate um remove that feeder that way so that way i can get in there but if not we got the big gate down there but yeah so this little project got done today hope y'all enjoyed a little bit of clipping clips i got of it i didn't get a lot um i got some of today getting all the wire and stuff up moving stuff in here 
Uh, so anyhow, I think we got some happy goats, and I'm pretty happy and pleased with how it came out, and I'm glad we finally got around to getting her finished. So anyhow, it's kind of subscribe. Catch y'all next one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.